Okay, today we will go back to the uh, Boolean instructions. This is the one that you learned before in form 4. Very simple, basically. So it won't take so, so much time for you to understand. To be frank. Alright? So we are going to play game with the command for the gates logic. Gates logic is N or exclusive all and not only. Okay, there are only four. One is N. The other one is all. Then you have the exclusive all. And then you have the not. This is the this is very simple gates. Okay? So every gate has its own table. Right? Two table here, there's a two table for this gate. So you normally only take only two input. So to cut short, let's look at the end gate first. So this is a command. 
You have the N, N immediate. N D is N immediate, like you see before, right? Sub immediate, blah blah blah, as I. You have all, and you have all immediate. You have exclusive all, you have exclusive all immediate, and the last one is not. So this is a command that you're going to play around. Okay, so let's look at the first one, which is N. This is a data table, that two table that we have just now. The compilation of that. Now we are looking at the logic N. Okay, if you look at the definition here, they are quite so lengthy words over there because they tell me and instruction will erase certain bit blah blah blah. This is all lengthy words basically. So you must know that end gate is everything got zero, the result will be zero. If you're all one, then the result will be one like that. Erase means zero, eh? So this is the one that's very lengthy, but if you keep on reading this one, then you understand what it's all about. It's about erase, erase means zero. So the syntax like this, n dot something dot size, and this is the source, this is the destination. Source destination EA means effective address. So no matter what, when you need to find out what's the effective address over there. And immediate size, you see that that and immediate size, you are taking a value by hash number. That's all. That is and immediate. So n only is with this one, but and immediate we have to put a number. Okay. So now. One of the program must be data register, except for ND, this is the one, and immediate, use at blah, blah, this one. Okay, condition codes, we are not looking yet over here. This is the condition part, but not in the one. So we are going to look at the end first, eh? Very simple. Now very simple, look okay. at this example first. Okay, the question is uh, quite confusing. He asking you about to erase all bit in D0 except B0 to 2. This is about confusing words. So this word essentially asks you to do n immediate f to d0. So what does it do? The law is very long. I have to write down to 32 bits. I don't really like to write down like that. But this is example first. What you have to do is you are going to end the components d0 and f. D0 and F. So D0 is given this contents and F is this one. So long word means you have to write down all the 32 bits over here. Every bit. So D0 is all here. Okay, this is equivalent to this one. And F is equivalent to this one. So my basics one, I have to touch the basic first. You must remember that if you want to convert hexa numbers to binary numbers, we we'll go back to basics. Eh? I think uh, there are a few people who cannot know what, but I'm writing about at the back. So right now, you are converting directly eh? hex numbers to binary numbers. Binary is only 1 and 0. Hex number is a number. So whatever one digit of hex number, for example, 4, when you want to convert to binary, you can directly have four digits of binary here. Four digits, eh? Means that this is equivalent to zero. Eh, sorry, one, eh? Equivalent to one. This is equivalent to two. This is equivalent to four. Eh, this is not zero, sorry. This is zero? One or zero? Zero, right? Start from zero, sorry. 0, 1 But it's okay, you, you are, you're thinking about that So now, very simple like this I like to convert very simple like this Go here, down here 4 means 0, 0, 1, 0 Is it 1 here? Zero, one, zero. One, zero. Correct. So this is equivalent to 0. This is equivalent to 1. Sorry, 2. Sorry. Eh? This is equivalent to 4. This is equivalent to 8. Put it right. So 4 times 1 is equivalent to 4. 
The rest is all plus zero, right? Correct, right? Okay, let's go for 10. 10 means 8. So you have to convert directly to binary, you must have 4 digits of binary numbers. So this is 1, 0, 1, 0. This is 1 times 8. 0 times 0. 2 times 2. Times 0. This is all plus, it's equivalent to 10. That's equal, eh? Correct. So this is uh, the one that a lot of people confuse. But this is the method how to convert a hexa to binary numbers. Same goes to the other side. So it means that from here, you can directly go to hexa numbers. Without using calculator, this is the faster way of converting numbers. Calculator is much simpler, just click here and then you get the answers, right? So back to the thing. From this example, this is very long. I normally do not put long word because if you put long word, Long word, you have to write down until your answer sheet cannot cope with that 32 bits, you know. So each number representing this one, A representing this one, D is this one, 2 is this one, B is this one, and the rest is all 0 because all 0, correct? So 0 in hexa is equivalent to 4 0 in binary, remember that? So this is correct. So 0 in hexa is equivalent to 0. 4 0 in binary and equivalent to 0 in decimal. Okay, come on, man. So, another one, another people got confused like this. What happened to this number? If my hexa is 1, still, still the number for binary got 4 digits, right? Must be like this. So this is not MSB, correct not? MSB is over here. So this is not MSB is equivalent to 1. Because this is not a binary number, it's the hexa number. So it's equivalent to 1 decimal numbers. So do not confuse for the MSB. If I put 1 here in hexa, this is not MSB number. Correct not agree or not? So MSB must be coming from here after you convert it to binary. This is your MSB. And the last one, this is your LSB. Least significant byte. Bit, sorry, not byte. Okay, do not confuse it. Eh? That's why I keep on changing the numbers. I don't want you to get lost. I change from hexa to binary directly. So this is a number that you need to play around. So here like this, very simple, you have to do, you have to clear all D0 over here, 32 bit, eh? I don't want to put 32, I always put words, enough, enough, 16 already. So another one is F. F is very simple. F is all one, correct? Right? Yes, this is all one, 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 one in binary. So that is all high state. So this is one, 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 one. So what you need to do, you have to end up these two operation. So one by one, you have to end. Zero and one, zero. One and one, one. Zero and one, zero. So you have to do all these things. So finally, you have to convert back this number to hexa again. So the result is 1010 is equivalent to A, correct? 0000 is equivalent to 0. And the last one, all 0, this is the final answer at the destination. Agree, Faham? So you have to do the end operation with these two registers. The result is coming at the end over here. Okay, this is a long one, so we go for the short. Alright, another one, next one, logic or same one. If you look at the definition here, this is a bit a lengthy word, another word. But very simple, or is anything one, you got one. Alright, zero zero is zero. Anything got one input, you must have one for all. Result will be that. So the same concept. So if you want to do all operation, okay, this is a question that may go to confuse you, but I did it ask you to do all things over there. So this is the one. All immediate words. If you put immediate, you have a number already over here. Okay, a number must be over here and D0 is given here. 
So D0 you convert back to binary. So this is the one. D is equivalent to this one. And 0, 0, E0 is equivalent to this one. You have to convert it to binary. Then after that you do the OR operation. 1, 0 is equal to 1. 0, 0. 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 1. Then you have this answer that you convert back to the hexa numbers. Agree? Okay, ma? Huh? So this one is not confusing, but it's okay to understand. Very simple. So you just need to do the AND and OR operation. Okay? Number one. Exclusive OR. Again, this exclusive OR, you can see that this, this question is quite confusing. It only asks you the exclusive OR operation, that's all. So you need to do this exclusive OR operation. So this is a number because of the i over here and this is the d0. d0 is given this one. So you have to convert this one. d is this one. 2 is this one. Blah, blah, blah. And this is a number for words. And this is number for this one. And you have to do the exclusive all. Exclusive more means that you have 1, 1 or 0, 0. The answer will be 0. The rest is 1. And then you get the final answer here. You convert to this number. Not hard, basically. So the last one is not not very simple. You have the input implement byte in D0. D0 contents of this value. So you have in, this is complement. This is another name. Just don't care. This is complement means the body here. Okay? The solution is this one, not B. So if you do the NOT operation, D0 is content this one, but is this 2 only, 2 and D, then the answer will be NOT, that's all. Then you get the answer. If you have the 1, it will be 0. 0 will be 1, 1 will be 0. This is NOT operation, then the final answer is this one. So N or exclusive for and NOT only. You have two input, the output will be there. So it's not really hard. Is it okay? The slide is not really good, obviously. Any questions? Any so Alright. This one is complete. It shouldn't be a problem. Now we have to, we have to go to this one. This is not really easy. Alright, after the Boolean operation, now comes with this one. Lot, right? So you have 8. 8 of commands today we need to learn plus 4, plus 4, so around 16, 16 commands today. Okay. So one by one, eh? Now, this is quite easy to understand. If the questions come up for this one, I will always give you the table. Okay? Shift and rotate instruction. This is the way how you can rotate and how you can shift the beat from your register. So there are eight of them, eight commands. Arithmetic shift, rotate left, arithmetic shift, rotate right. And the rest is another one with extend. It will involve the status register over here. So one by one, eh? Now go for the first one. This is a this is a one. So now you need to look at the table first. Understand this one first. Okay, let's look at the table. The table say for the arithmetic shift, every time you shift, every time you shift, what happened? The operation will be like this. Every time you shift to the left, this is considered left, right? Left, right? You shift the register to the left. You will put zero, going in here and the rest you're going to shift and the first MSB over here will be put to the X and C status register. X and C, X is extend, C for carry. Remember the status register last time? C is for carry, X for extend. Okay, this is the way. For arithmetic shift right is different. You can see that it's shifting to the right, right? But the thing is, the MSB here will come up and shift. 
and the LSB here will be going to the extend and carry status register one time. Okay, next one. Logical shift lab, nearly the same like that one. You can see that you are shifting zero insert and then the rest will be shifted over here. Okay, next one. Logical shift right, you can see that very simple also. You are shifting to the right, you are putting zero and then shift to the rest over there. The table, you need to understand how it shift and rotate. This is shifting only. Any questions first before we go to the exercise? Can you see? Okay, one by one, eh? Alright, I'm going to make it slow. Don't worry about that. Okay, this is rotate. You may not going to remember all that, that's what I understand. So no matter what, I'm going to give you this table. So you have to look at the table, confirm correctly how it's going to rotate and shift. Okay, now for rotation. Rotation means that it's rotating. Shift is only shift, here and there. Rotate means you are using back the value. Here, example here, rotate left. You can see that from here, rotate left, right? So the first one here, MSB, will be put to copy and the same value will be shift so I rotate here and push. That's the concept of rotating. Rotate, pushing, balik. Rotate, pushing, balik. Okay, the next one. Again, this is a rotate right. You are rotating from this one. Low, low. This is the main go in here and then rotate up to here. And then you have the rotate through X and rotate X extension left. Right? You can see that this one is different. A bit. Can you see it or not? It should be in the book over there. This is true extent. The value will be coming from this one. It's rotating here and this is so it must go through extent also. Must go through. So the table is like this but quite confusing, I know. So we have to play with the exercise. Let's do the first one. Arabic sheet. Okay, let's try to play with your coding. Okay, is this 68k again? So you can write down like this. Easy, 68k. As usual, start to play with your code, else you're going to sleep. Eh? Remove this one.
Is that about FC first? Is that exactly? So right now, how we do this? Okay. Okay, right now. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back. Come back, come back. Come back, come back. Right. Now you can see that the command is like this. This is arithmetic shift right dot byte eh? hash two. Hash two means it will shift two times, two times at D one in the terms of byte size. Okay, let's look at the byte size. Well, this is F zero, correct? The first one is F zero. Okay, like this. F zero. This is the byte size. Okay. So right now you are going to put at the binary one is like this one 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 zero 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 zero. This one is still okay. All right. Now you have to shift right twice. So look at the table. The table say for the arithmetic shift right. For arithmetic shift right, this is the one I just now. What you need to do is the MSB will copy and shift. Will be copy and shift. Eh? So right now, this one will be copied over and shift. So now the number will be one, 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 one. Correct. Zero, 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 and this zero will be copied over. To X and C. So this one finish. The first one. Can you see? This is the first shift. And then you have the second shift. Second shift, you have to do again this one. This one, you have shift again, copy shift again. And this is going to copy one 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 one. Zero zero, and the last zero go up to X and C again, and then this is your final answer after you rotate twice. M, this is how much? Wait, police today.